How's everyone doing today? In this tutorial, we're going to learn about twin service in Roblox. Here in my workspace, I have a blue part and a red part. With the blue part, I'm going to change the properties manually. And with the red part, I'm going to change the properties of the part using twin service. Let's now go to our service script service. We're going to add a script. First, let me declare the blue part, but let me put in the comment so we know this is the blue part and we're going to change it manually. So I'm going to say change manually, which means we're going to change the, uh, the, parts, the parts properties. And now I'm going to declare the blue part. So I'm going to say local blue equals to and the blue part is in game dot workspace dot blue. So that's going to reference to the blue part. Now, if I want to change the transparency of the blue part, I'm going to say blue dot transparency. I'm going to set it equals to one. It's going to make the part totally transparent, totally disappear. To do the same thing using tween service, let me go down here. I'm going to say change using tween service. All right, so this part up here, we do it manually by changing the uh, properties directly. Down here, we're going to change using tween service. So first, let's declare our tween service. We're going to say local tween service. And we're going to set that equals to game colon get service. So we're getting the service of the tween service. To use tween service, first we need to create a tween and then we need to play it. So let's now create a tween. We're going to declare another variable, local. Let's call it tween. So that's going to be our, our tween. And we're going to set that equals to our tween service, colon, create. So we're creating a tween. Our create function is going to have three different variables. The first variable is going to be a part. So let's now create, uh, let's now declare our part. We're going to say local. And this time we're going to declare the red part. So we're going to say red equals to, and that's inside the game dot workspace dot red. So now red is going to reference to our red part inside the workspace. So the first parameter of the create function is going to be the part that you want to tween, right? So the part that we want to tween here is the red part. We're going to put red here. The next parameter is going to be the tween info. So we're going to come up here. We're going to declare the tween info. We're going to say local and we're going to call it tween info. And we'll set that equals to tween info dot new. All right, so tween info dot new is going to return a tween info, which we're going to store into this variable tween info, which we're, we're going to pass into this second parameter of the create function. So here I'm just going to put in our parameter tween info. And the third parameter is going to be a table. It's going to be a dictionary. And it's going to be your target. Like how do you want your part to look like at the end of the tween, right? So here I'm going to declare a third variable and let's call it target and we'll set that equals to a dictionary a dictionary you have to have two curly brackets right and then you put whatever you want inside here 
So inside here is your target, whatever you want your part to look like at the end of the, the tween. So in this case, we want the part to have a transparency of one because we're gonna do the exact thing to the red part as we did to the blue part, right? So we're gonna change the transparency of the red part to one, same as the blue part. I'm gonna paste it in here. And then in here, our third parameter of the create function is gonna be our target. I'm gonna put target in here. Now we have a tween. The next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna play it. Now we have a tween, we're gonna play it. So we're gonna say tween colon play. That's gonna play our tween. The only thing I'm gonna add here is I'm gonna add a weight up here so that we all can get ready to see the changes before it starts, right? So we're gonna wait for eight seconds. Let's now play and take a look. So there's the blue part and the red part. We're gonna wait for eight seconds and the clock is ticking and you see the blue part disappeared and the red part disappeared as well, but it took a little longer. It took about one second to disappear. And now if I go to my workspace, I'm gonna look at the blue part properties. You can see the transparency is one. Same with the red. If I click on the red, the transparency is one. So changing the property to one for the blue part and using the tween service to change the property of the red part to one, they both end up with the property, the uh, transparency of one. So they both uh, did accomplish the same task. The only difference is the blue part did it immediately and the red part took about a second. It, it, it kind of like uh, gradually transformed the part from the initial state of uh, where the transparency initially was zero and it gradually transformed it to transparency of one. All right, so those are the differences between using the, um, changing the property directly and using a tween to change the property. Now, if I want to use tween service to change the property immediately, same as up here, all I have to do is I have to set, there's a time here. The first parameter of the tween info is the time. So the, the uh, default is one. If I wanted to change immediately, I'll just put zero in here and it's gonna change immediately. Let's play and take a look. And again, we're gonna wait for eight seconds for the parts to change. And there you go. It, they both change exactly at the same time immediately. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna change the position of the part. So to change the position, I'm gonna set blue dart position plus equals two. And it's gonna be a vector three dart new. So we're adding a new vector three to the current position of the blue part and I'm just gonna add 20 comma zero comma zero. All right, so we're moving the, the, uh, the blue part 20 spaces to the right. Now we're gonna do the same thing to the red part using tween service. So my target here, I'm gonna change the target to position because now we're, we're changing the position of the part so my target is gonna be a new position, which is equals to the current position of the red part. So it's gonna be red dot position. And that's gonna give me the current position of the red part plus this vector three here, right? So we're gonna copy this and we're gonna do plus and I'll paste it into here. Another thing I'm gonna change here is I don't want my part to change so quickly, like immediately, instantly. I want it to take 10 seconds, take a full 10 seconds for my part to move from the original position to the new position, which is gonna be the original 
position plus a vector 3 of 20 units to the right. Let's play and take a look. And we're going to give it 8 seconds. And the blue part is going to jump over here. And you see the red part is not jumping right over here immediately, but it takes a full 10 seconds to get to the ending position. The ending position is our target. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to change the orientation of a part, which is going to make the part rotate. So we're going to rotate the part. To rotate the part with the blue part, I'm going to say blue dart orientation. And I'm going to do a plus equals to a vector 3 dot new. And I'm going to give it a 0, 270 degrees, comma, 0. So it's going to rotate 3 quarter of the way and it's going to stop. Now we're going to do the same thing to the red part using twin service. So I'm going to go to our target here. And I'm going to change, instead of position, I'm going to say orientation. So that is the property of the part, is the orientation. And what do we want to do? We want to say orientation equals to red dart orientation plus a vector 3. And now a vector 3 is going to be 270 degrees in the Y axis. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it down here. Again, we're going to take a full 10 seconds to complete this tween. Let's play and take a look. And we're waiting for the blue part to go. There it goes. And then the red part is taking a full 10 seconds to go 270 degrees, three quarter of the way, three quarter of a full circle. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to change the color of the part. So to change the color of the blue part, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to say blue dot color. And I'll set it equals to color three dot new. And I'm just going to click on this box here to pick a color. So I'll pick like an orange color. I'll click OK. So here it's going to change the color of the part to this color. We're going to copy this and we're going to paste it into our tween. So I'm going to copy and I'll go to our target. So our, our target now is going to be a new color and I'll paste it into here. Our target is going to be, we're changing the color property of the red part and the new color is going to be this. And again, it's going to take a full 10 seconds to get there. Let's play and take a look. The part's still blue and red. And we're waiting. There it goes, orange. And look at the red part. It slowly changes. It slowly transforms itself, transform the color from red to orange. So you see the beauty of using twin service is you, your part, you don't need to change it instantly. You don't need to change it immediately. But you, you can specify however long you, you want the part to transform from one thing to the next thing, from one color to the next color, from one position to the next position. And you can even transform two different properties at the same time. For example, here we're going to transform the uh, position well, the orientation and the color at the same time. So we're going to be rotating the part and changing the color at the same time. For the tween, I'm going to change this target to consist of both the color and the orientation. So here I have target equals to this table. And my table now consists of two entries. The first entry is the orientation, is the new target for the orientation. And very important, put a comma in there to separate the entries. And the second entry is the color. Let's now play and take a look. 
basically it's gonna tween both the orientation and the color at the same time you see it's rotating and at the same time the color changes now your tween is just like a movie so first you see here we're creating the movie then we play the movie right and if you like you can pause the movie to pause the movie I'm just gonna enter the following lines so basically what we do here is we create the movie we play the movie and we play it for one second and then I decided to press the pause button so this line is gonna pause the movie I'm going to pause it for 5 seconds and then I'm going to continue to play the movie. So it's going to pick up where I left off when I pause the movie, right? So again, it's going to play for 1 second and then it's going to pause. It's going to pause for 5 seconds, then it's going to continue to play. Let's take a look. So this blue part is jump to the ending and look at that. It played for 1 second and it paused the red part. And then now it continues to play till the end of the movie. In my final example here, I have two different tweens. I have a tween and a tween two. And the tween is using the target, which is going to be 20 units to the right of the red position. But then my second tween, tween two, it's going to use a target 2. It's going to be 20 units above the original position of the red part. So basically here I'm going to start to play the first tween first. But only after 2 seconds I'm going to start to play the second tween. And they're both changing the same property of the red part. What's going to happen is the second tween is going to cancel as soon as the second tween starts to play. It's going to cancel the first tween and it's going to end up in the second target, which is target two. It's going to bring the part to this position when it stops. Let's play and take a look. So nothing is happening yet. And now the first tween is playing. And now the second tween is playing. So you can see the second tween is bringing the part back to the original X position. And the Y position is 20 studs above the original position. And guys, that's all we have for tween service for today. And thank you all for watching. We will see you in the next tutorial.